Hello everyone. I am so happy to see you again. Today, I want to invite you to join me for a cozy fireside dinner. I am serving creamy penny ala vodka, homemade garlic bread, and a full-bodied Coke de Rhone wine. Let's head into the kitchen where the Instant Pot awaits. I have all of my ingredients for the penny ala vodka, except one. The recipe calls for a large shallot. I don't have one, so I'm using a small red onion, which I'm going to mince. This onion is from my garden. Now this penny ala vodka recipe comes from the step-by-step -step Instant Pot cookbook, which I can link below. I have not tried this recipe before, but I know that I absolutely adore penny olive vodka. And the first thing we need to do is press the saute button. And then we're going to add two tablespoons of salted butter to the pot. I really don't use my Instant Pot often enough, so I'm really happy to have an excuse to cook in this gadget for you. Then add four ounces or 114 grams of chopped pancetta. If you don't have pancetta, you could use four strips of bacon diced. We are going to saute the pancetta just until it renders its fat. That's going to take about three minutes. Now the recipe says, do not let the pancetta or the bacon become crispy. It needs to be lightly cooked and still soft. Then add a large minced shallot, or in my case, a small red onion that I minced. I'm going to stir this until the onion becomes soft and translucent. That will take probably one minute or so. And in the comments, let me know if you use your Instant Pot regularly. I've really been using mine only to do pot roasts and vegetable stocks and chicken stock. I know a lot of people use their Instant Pot almost every day. Next, add three minced garlic cloves, or much easier, add three teaspoons of garlic paste. And if you're using minced fresh garlic, you only want to cook it briefly. Don't let the garlic burn. Then we need to deglaze the pot with a half cup or 118 mils of vodka. Vodka really brings out the flavor of the tomatoes that will be added later. getting a vodka facial. Now we need one and a half cups or 355 mils of marinara sauce. I'm using jarred sauce. Add the marinara and three cups or about 710 mils of either chicken stock or garlic stock. Also add a 4.5 ounce can or 411 grams of diced tomatoes. And two more tablespoons of butter. Mix these ingredients very well. The butter does not have to completely melt at this point. Now add one pound or 16 ounces, or 454 grams of penne regatta. And the recipe specifies do not stir the penne. Just push it down so that it is mostly submerged. And it's okay if some of the pasta is sticking above the liquid. Now put the lid on. 
and we are going to pressure cook this for six minutes. So we are going to cancel, pressure cook, and six minutes. Oh, and make sure your steam valve is in the off position. Once the time is up, we're going to do a quick pressure release. I'm going to clean up my workstation, and then when this is ready, we will add some other ingredients. The six minutes is up, so now I'm going to switch the valve, the steam valve, to do a quick pressure release. And here's a little tip. A rocket of steam is going to come out of this valve, so I always place a cloth over the valve. And our pressure is released. Now add two cups or 470 mils of marinara. Stir that in. One tablespoon of dried oregano or oregano or one third cup fresh oregano. Do you say oregano or oregano? One fourth cup or 60 mils of heavy cream. A quarter cup or 28 grams of grated Parmesan. And four ounces or about 57 grams of cream cheese, which I've cut into little cubes. And then gently stir just until the cream cheese melts. This looks wonderful. I cannot wait to try this. This is hot. It's delicious, but seems to be lacking salt. So I'm going to add just a smidge of salt. I know the pancetta is salty. The Parmesan is salty, but it still needs a little more flavor enhancement. Now I've hit the keep warm button, so I'm simply going to loosely cover the Instant Pot. And then I think garlic bread would go very well with this penny a la vodka. So let's make it. I'm going to go out on a limb here and tell you that my version of garlic bread is the best version of garlic bread. I use a baguette, some salted, good quality butter, garlic paste, Asiago cheese, and parsley. And we need to run out to the garden to fetch the parsley. So my oven is preheating to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. And I'm just pulling the leaves off of the parsley. This is roughly the equivalent of one bunch of parsley. And I'm just going to roughly chop it. For the bread, let's see, I'm going to use about half of this baguette. And then I will cut this horizontally in half. Now we have to move to the stove top. In a saucepan over low heat, Melt one cup or 226 grams 
of salted butter. Then add four teaspoons of garlic paste, or the equivalent in fresh minced garlic. Stir for about one minute. The quantity of butter I am using here is enough for a full baguette. Feel free to cut the recipe in half. And there we are. I'm transferring this bread to a baking tray. And then I will spoon over this glorious butter, garlic, and parsley mixture. I'm brushing on some of the butter mixture to any exposed parts of the bread. I want this completely covered, the top anyway. I'm pretty sure that once you've tried this garlic bread, you will want no other. Sprinkle the top with some grated Parmesan cheese. Actually, this is shredded parm. Now, it's shredded Asiago. I'm going to bake this garlic bread for exactly five minutes in the preheated oven. Then, I will put it under the broiler Oh, for probably less than one minute, just to brown the top. Now I have some basil leaves here from the garden, sort of past their prime, that I thought basil would be a nice garnish for the penne a la vodka even though the recipe doesn't call for any garnish beyond additional cheese. I like to cut the bread into little rectangles. This smells fantastic. I'm putting the penne a la vodka on a white platter. Leftover penne a la vodka can be frozen. That's what I'm going to do with mine. And all this needs is a shower of the basil chiffonade. I will add some extra cheese at table. In addition to this main course and the garlic bread, I'm also going to serve as a second course, arugula leaves 
dress with olive oil and lemon juice. For dessert, we are having some of the delightful applesauce cake that you and I made together in a previous video. I'm serving the cake with dollops of sour cream. So let's have another bite of this penny a la vodka. The flavors actually deepened and improved as it sat in the instant pot on the stay warm cycle. And again, you can freeze any leftovers. That's what I'm going to do. Yum. And here's the garlic bread, which I really hope you will try someday. For an instant pot dinner, I think this is a fabulous dinner and one that I hope you will try. I will link the recipe for this penny a la vodka in the description below. Also, I can pop a couple of my other videos up here or up here that you can watch between now and my next upload. Again, thank you so much for spending time with me today, and I will see you in the next episode. Chin chin, and please take good care of yourself.